Dear all, welcome to the lecture series of power system protection. In this video, I will be discussing induction type relay. You know that induction type relay is a part of electromechanical relay. In the last session, I have discussed what do you mean by attracted armature type relay. You know that the electromechanical relay can be broadly divided into electromagnetic relay then the thermal relay electromagnetic relay can be subdivided into attracted armature type relay and induction type relay you know in the lecture number 8 i have discussed about attracted armature type relay in detail how does it work what are the types like hinged armature type plunger type balanced bead type moving coil type polarized type and reed type in this video i am going to discuss induction type re relay in brief with the help of a suitable diagram and a brief explanation in a simple manner. Let us straight away explain about what do you mean by induction type relay. Before explaining induction type relay, you need to know what is Faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction. It works based on Faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction. And also remember that this relay can be apply applicable for only for AC system. Further moving on, the classification of induction relay. Induction relay can be broadly divided into two types. Induction disc type relay and induction cup, re cup relay. Again, induction disc relay has been divided into two. Shaded pole type induction type relay, induction disc relay and a watt metric type induction disc relay. You need to know how does energy meter operate, energy meter. So, if you know some basics of energy meter, importance of breaking magnet, importance of aluminium disc, Okay, and interaction of two fluxes and what do you mean by creeping such kind of phenomenon you must have studied in lower semesters if you know such kind of uh, information it is very easy to explain induction relay first of all what do you mean by induction relay so basic principles of induction relay are as follows induction relay works based on electromagnetic induction the moving element which is used in uh, induction type relays are generally called disc or cup usually it is made up of aluminium the iron associated with the rotor in the relay is stationary and the moving element will act will act as rotor carrier current carrier for the rotor current there will be always two fluxes that is flux 1 and uh, flux 2 the interaction of flux will take place the flux interaction will be responsible for torque generation that torque generation will be responsible for the operation of aluminium disc to stop the aluminium disc in a desired position we are using a brake magnet also index for induction cup relay brake magnets are not employed so two fluxes should be out of phase then only the torque will be generated these are the basic principles of induction type relay moving on to the induction disc relay it is a first sub classification you know induction disc type relay so there are two types shaded pole type and uh, then watt metric type i will be discussing about what do you mean by induction disc relay first let us go through the diagram so consider the diagram first of all you need to see that there is a permanent magnet this is your permanent magnet number one number two we have an aluminium disc this is your aluminium disc number two then number three this is your plug setting plug setting i will let you know what is plug setting and uh, this is your operating current and you can see a brake magnet you can see a brake magnet here then there is one more thing you can see a shaded ring the shaded ring produce the flux which is opposite to that of the main flux actually as soon as you provide the current there will be generation of obviously there is generation of flux that will be phi one that is called phi 1 due to the shading uh, one more flux that is going to generate that is called phi 2 because of this so both will be out of phase so due to difference in flux the torque will be producing at the aluminum disc thereby the aluminum disc starts operating if the aluminum disc wanted to have desired stationary position brake magnets are employed so this is the way how induction disc relay is getting operated i have written the details below 
as you can see this is a modified uh, induction disc relay and uh, brake magnet then you can see the position of disc and uh, shaded shaded ring to produce different fluxes so this is about the modified form of induction disc relay if i talk about watt metric type induction relay there are two magnet number one upper magnet number two lower magnet at the middle you are keeping the aluminum disc this is your aluminum disc number three aluminum disc number four you can see a braking magnet in a circular shape and uh, current is actually passing over here operating current and we have the flux setting this is actually then flux as soon as the current pass to the relay coil the flux phi phi 1 will be generated look at the secondary coil secondary coil that is directly connected to the lower magnet here the flux phi 1 will be generated phi 1 the lower side flux phi 2 is going to generate phi 2 both the flux of the difference in flux that is going to generate the displacement of the torque that means displacement of the disc that means there is a torque production at the disc to stop the disc in a desired position we are using braking magnet with respect to the movement of aluminum disc the tripping circuit is going to activate that means the flux phi 1 and phi 2 the interaction of phi 1 and phi 2 is most important with respect to current the phi 1 is getting varied so that will be depending phi 2 also the interaction of flux that will be depending on the movement of aluminum disc thereby trip circuit is getting activated okay so i have written the details in brief kindly note down your particular notebook what is the total amount of force which is generated over the in the particular aluminum disc due to the interaction of flux phi 1 and phi 2 the total amount of force is given by k i square sin theta where theta is the angle between phase angle between flux 1 and flux 2 or else you can able to write in terms of equation the total force generated at the aluminum disc is given by k m n sin theta where m and n are called actuating current produces by uh, phi 1 and phi 2 this you have to remember the major advantages of bat metric induction type relays are construction is robust and it shows inverse current time characteristics i mean uh, more current fault time is very less operating time can be adjustable by using suitable selection of flux setting and also major setbacks are observed here low speed of operation it consumes some amount of power from the supply that is called va rating va burden there is a va burden of 2.8 if i talk about induction cup relay brake magnets are not used and uh, the stationary ion core is placed inside the rotating cup to decrease the air gap okay you know reluctance reluctance is equal to the l by mu a so if the air gap length is reduced that means reluctance is directly proper reluctance yes i'll be writing yes reluctance reluctance is directly proportional to air ga air gap length if you read the reduced for that purpose air gap has been reduced the spindle of the cup carries an arm which uh, closes the contact now i'll take you the diagram this is your stationary core and uh, in uh, the, uh, the you can see the rotor part now we can see there is no brake magnet is enclosed here or brake magnets are not used here when two act two actuating quantities are applied one act as operating quantity another will act as restraining quantity look at this two quantities are there uh, maybe we are applying two inputs one is one is generally called operating quantity another one is actuating quantity such cases uh, definitely it produce the movement of the particular core so this is what exactly happening here the torque is produced due to interaction between rotating flux and induced current which causes the rotation the advantages are less va burden it is highly sensitive high speed of operation compared to other type of induction relay i have referred uh, this textbook to gather the information you can note down whatever i have explained in that particular video if you are having any queries please put up in the comment box in this session i have discussed the classification of induction type relay finally thank you for watching this video